DeJounte Murray, Jakob Pertl, and Derek White, all available for trade? What is up, San Antonio Spurs fans? Welcome to TSR Sports. As a San Antonio Spurs channel, I feel it's time I finally delve into some of these rumors that are flying around about our players. To not address it at all would just be, I feel, doing a, an injustice to my channel, to my subscribers, to the San Antonio Spurs. So I want to talk about the three players I see being mentioned a lot. While I'm going over this, drop a comment down below your thoughts. Could any of these guys get traded? Hit that thumbs up if you like to support the channel. And subscribe for more Spurs content. And before I get into this, I do need to let you know, this has got me pretty fired up talking about this. So anyway, let's start off with the one that I've been seeing on some websites. DeJounte Murray. Could the Spurs trade DeJounte Murray? Teams are calling the Spurs left and right. Is DeJounte Murray available? You know what? I don't give a fudge how many teams are calling, DeJount, uh, calling the Spurs about DeJounte Murray. If Greg Popovich is answering that phone and saying no every time, it doesn't matter if every single team is calling him. He's not getting traded. He's not. You're not going to take the best play on your team who has grown over the over the year, who's hitting big shots in the fourth quarter, who, who could be just tanking in the first three quarters and then turns it on when we need scoring in the fourth quarter, who has been the best player on offense, one of our best players on defense, probably going to make the all-star team as a reserve, fingers crossed, and you're just going to trade him away? You know what? Why don't you just trade every starter away and give Spurs fans no reason to watch the games anymore, to go to the games, and then ship the team to Las Vegas? Because that's what's going to happen if you trade your best players away. This is not happening. The Jean Murray trade rumors, in my opinion, are pure clickbait crap. He's not getting traded. End of discussion. And if I'm wrong, well, this video is not going to age well, but DeJounte... I love what I'm seeing from you this year. Keep doing what you're doing. We're not trading DeJounte. Damn! Up next, Jakob Pertl. I did a video earlier in the season that uh, the Toronto Raptors are interested in. I think there's some validity to that. But would the Spurs trade Jakob Pertl, especially the way he's been playing the last few weeks? I don't think so. I don't think he's going anywhere. Not to mention the fact our team is so terrible in the paint and getting rebounds. You're going to take the one guy that's been performing in that area and ship them off. You're really going to run with Drew Eubanks and Jacques Lindale as your one and two. Zach Collins, don't know what's going on with him yet. But that would be our rotation for center, which has shown at a lot of times this season, they're not ready to handle it. Jakob Pertl, I love what he's doing. He is showing us that he is a legit five and has just, his game has grown. He's hitting all these little jumpers in the paint, playing playing with confidence. And I can see the confidence. You see it at the free throw line. He's starting to hit his free throws now. Jakob Pertl, I just don't see it happening. He's our only legit big man, and he's the one of the anchors with DeJounte Murray that's been pretty steady throughout the season. And since his back spasm missed the game, he has been phenomenal and has been playing fringe top five center in the NBA. And a lot of things Jakob Pertl does on the court don't show up in the stat box, like pick and rolls. I believe a contested shots, he's in the top three in the NBA. That doesn't count as a block. Everybody looks at the block shots, but contested shots cause the opposing team to miss. So Jakob Pertl, I don't think he's going anywhere. The last one, okay, so this one, I don't see it happening. Could teams want Derek White? He's having one of his worst offensive years shooting-wise, so right now his trade value is not very high. What I don't see happening, though, is some websites saying, Atlanta Hawks reaching out to the San Antonio Spurs, John Collins for Derek White. That is not happening. Not a straight one up for each. Doing a little deep, dig deep uh, research, some sites that I do trust feel like if John Collins was to get traded to the uh, from the Atlanta Hawks to the San Antonio Spurs, it's going to be for DeJounte Murray. Ah, nope, already said, that's not happening. I'm not trading DJ for De John Collins. Maybe some of you Spurs fans would be cool with that, and that's okay. You're entitled to your opinion. We're all Spurs fans. We want what's best for the team, and if you say, hey, John Collins will be better than DeJounte Murray in the future, I'm not going to knock you for saying that, but in my opinion, no. And from what I've read, John Collins seems kind of unhappy in Atlanta and kind of complaining about it. I don't know what's going on. If there's drama out there with John Collins, much like Ben Simmons, I don't want it in San Antonio. Back to Derek White. He's got a pretty big contract. He's having it down there offensively, still doing the things he does defensively. Could I see the Spurs trade Derek White? Yes. But for what? I don't know. I'd hate to see him go, but we have so many guards that I think Devin Vassell could be the guy that would take that position if he was to get traded. I don't think it would be a mass. I think actually it could be an upgrade if Devin Vassell started because he is bigger. He's six seven, depending on which website you read. You read he's got a few inches on Derek White. He's got more reach. He's a uh, he not going to be the passer Derek White is, and obviously not as good as taking charges. 
but he is going to give us some things on defense. The effort's always there. He's having a better shooting season. So if the Spurs were to trade Derek and put Devin in the starting lineup, I wouldn't be totally opposed to that. That's all I got, Spurs fans. I want to do a quick video and just address this stuff because there's been a lot of talk. I haven't been talking about it because I don't like reporting on crap. I've done two trade rumor videos this season. This will be my third. The first one was with Jakob Pertl getting interest from Toronto. I felt that had some actual gravitas to it because the Raptors had been playing really well. They were like 11-3 and three in their last 14 games at that time. And I was like, you know what? They could use an upgrade at the five. Just what would they give up? That was the question. I felt that was something that could happen. But the way Jakob's been playing lately, I think that one's off the table. I did only one other trade rumor video so far, and the trade rumor video was Bryn Forbes to Denver. And what happened? Bryn Forbes went to Denver literally the next day after I did the video. So when I report trade rumors to you guys, I want to let you know I want to do stuff that I feel may happen. I don't want to put crap up here. That's just no chance of happening, and I'm not knocking any other YouTubers that are covering this. Some people like talking about trade rumors and doing speculation. That's fine. Great. Have fun. Talk about it. Say what if. But here, no. I'm not going to cover nonsense like DeJounte Marie getting traded and that's the end of the story. So the next trade rumor video I do on this video, it's got to have... Oh, I'm sorry. I did Thaddeus Young to the Phoenix Suns. Looks like there was some actual substance to that until uh, Biambe, Bismarck, me, Big Bombo, I forgot his freaking name, started playing really well, and they no longer have a need at that position. So my apologies. Three trade rumor videos on one for three. Let me backtrack. Bad TSR. But I want to put up stuff that I feel can happen. I mean, yeah. Why doesn't LeBron James avail for trade? The Lakers have a crappy record. They're losing. Why are teams calling the Lakers? Hey, LeBron available? We'll give you a, we'll give you a first round pick or we'll give you a second round pick. Why don't you see all that stuff? No, with the San Antonio Spurs, even though we have a losing record, why are we always trading away our best players? I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Ugh! All right, that's all I got before I start raging and ranting again. Thank you so much for tuning in. And hopefully this video didn't offend anybody. I'm not making this video to knock people that like talking speculation, but I don't want to talk stuff on this channel that's just nonsense. And DeJounte getting traded to me is nonsense. At this point, Yak getting traded, more than likely nonsense. Derek White, maybe, but not Derek White straight up for John Collins. I think that's nonsense. So anyway, thank you all for tuning in. I love this team. I want to cover legit stories with this team. And uh, let's beat the Suns tonight. Let's beat the Suns. Let's go 4-0 this week. We can do it. Hey, we can. We beat some darn good teams. When this team is clicking, they can beat any team in the NBA. I truly believe the Spurs, when all our guys are, are going right, can beat any team in the NBA. Just all our guys got to get going right. And it starts with this guy right here. So, oh, my gosh. I ran it for way too long. Thank you again for tuning in, San Antonio Spurs fans. Until next time, go Spurs go!